So unless you guys for some reason have lived under a rock for the last five years, you know that Fortnite is super big when it comes to montages, highlights, YouTube videos, etc. And although there might be a lot of people that are really good at the game, the good majority of them don't know how to edit their very own montages, which could include you. So that's where I come in. I'm going to be showing you guys how you can edit your very own Fortnite montages or gaming montages for that matter for 100% free in a software called DaVinci Resolve. I make a lot of tutorials in the software itself. I'm going to have a playlist linked in the description to all my other tutorials. So if you guys find this one interesting, you'll like all the other ones in there. But yeah, like, comment, subscribe, free presets in the description. Let's get right into it. Okay. So the first step of this is actually going to be to get DaVinci Resolve. And to do this, all you got to do is look up DaVinci Resolve download, go like that and go to DaVinci Resolve 18. You're going to navigate on down here to free download. Now I have a link in the description as well. So you guys can check that out, but you're supposed to free download, download it. And then we're actually going to boot it up. So I'll see you guys once it's fully loaded up and ready to go. Okay. So quickly before the tutorial starts, I want to quickly mention my editing packs that I have available right now. Basically, I have two different tiers of editing pack. We have my $5 editing pack, which is for beginners that only want to spend $5. It's super budget friendly and it has literally everything you could ever need for Fortnite montages, content, any other gaming montages, etc. There's a ton of motion graphics in there, subtitle presets, Fortnite presets. I'm going to leave you guys a link for that. But if you guys didn't see, I just recently released my 2024 editing pack, which is basically that pack but updated. I have so much more content related stuff. So if you are a YouTuber and upcoming content creator, you definitely need to check that pack out. One's $5, one's $10. If you did buy my previous pack and you enjoyed it, I definitely recommend that you take the next step and buy the $10 pack. It's so worth it, but I don't want to go on any longer. If you guys want to check out the announcement video where I go over everything in the pack, be sure to go check that out. That'll be at the top of the description. Links to both packs are going to be at the top of the description as well. Let's get right into the tutorial. Okay. So DaVinci Resolve is loaded up. All we got to do now is go to to new project and we're actually just going to type in sample montage february 24th which is the date today and all we got to do once we actually boot up the software itself is go to edit go to our top left tab right here file go to project settings change the timeline frame rate to 60 and make sure our resolution is on 90 20 by 1080 which is the default and i'm actually just going to toss my headphones on now because we're going to need to listen to audio so let's uh let's get into it what we're going to do here is we're going to go into the file explorer and we're going to navigate on over to where we have our fortnite clips saved to so i'm just going to go right here to fortnite clips and right here we got three clips i'm going to drag them into the media pool and then what we're going to do is we're going to follow that with a song so for the song i'm going to be using the song pay me by eric Rappert. if you guys don't know how to download mp3s go look it up on youtube and uh there should be a tutorial there so starting off what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag in our song into the timeline press the little minimize thing here to zoom out press the plus to zoom in and we're gonna be finding our b drop to start now some easy shortcuts for you guys if you guys do make a mistake Control z is gonna be your undo keybind Control s can be your save and uh, i'll explain the other ones so we can see the first b drop just by listening right here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a marker on that spot right here if we need to we can zoom in a lot more so right here we're gonna add a marker there i'm gonna add a second marker there should be enough time to transition now maybe a couple frames before then and th that's gonna be the second clip And that's basically that. Now, what I just did, the blade tool, I just pressed either B on my keyboard or press the little razor up here. And I can just cut that down, drag that in right there. And we got a little song clip right here. So all we got to do is we are going to start syncing up our clips with the uh, markers right here. So to preview one of these clips, we just need to double click in the top left. Go here. We're just going to go before the kill, press the in. Go after the kill, press the out, and then we're going to find the frame where we get shotgun pellets. So for example, right here, we're going to press M. And by the way, I'm going to have these clips uh, in the drive in the description for you guys to actually follow along if you want. We're going to line up these two markers and basically that's all we need right there. I'm going to actually turn the clip down a little bit. And then we're going to do the exact same with this one. Come before the kill in come before the kill or after the kill out find shotgun pellets right here press m then we're just gonna line up the two markers like that bang bang after four marker 
line is up so we should drag that over there drag it out and that's all we need to do now for syncing super simple now for slow-mo super easy just right click on all the clips here to unlink them then what we're going to do is we're going to cut on the kill and we're just going to right click go to change clip speed change it to 50 percent that's basically that right click change clip speed change that to 50 percent change clip speed change that to 50 percent and that's all we need to do there. So we got to make sure that we have the actual audio unlinked because if we have the audio going slow-mo, it's going to sound really weird. Um, but yeah, so what we're going to do now is we're going to add markers to the top here just by going to the kill and making sure we don't have any clips selected. We just want to make sure that we just press M on the timeline so we get the markers up here. That's important because now what we're going to do is we're going to drag in adjustment clips. So you're going to add an adjustment clip here. We can control C to copy, paste it over here, make sure it lasts from the kill to the end and just like that. So now what we can see is we have three adjustment clips spanning the duration of the kills itself. What we're going to do is we're going to go into our adjustment clips here, go into the fusion tab, and I'm actually going to navigate on over to where we have the impact presets. So for example, we got the clean pink impact. I don't really want the glow, so I deleted it now we're going to press this little yellow triangle drag and drop it to connect it to the shake connect to the media out now what we can see when we go to change this quarter resolution we can see the keyframes are messed up so we got to go to the keyframe menu here press the little arrow things and we're going to expand these three right here select all of these bring all these over and that should be good so we're just going to drag this to sync it up with the first frame right like this and that's basically all we need there so that's how we do an impact like that so what we can do if you don't want to use a different impact you want to just use the same one you literally copy paste and just change the duration it's super simple that's all you need to do that now if you want to learn how to do transitions on your own and you want to like make them yourself go watch my transition tutorial i'm gonna have that kind of in the top right either right now or in the description in that playlist i was talking about earlier but davinci resolve also offers built-in transitions so you can drag them in just like this like a cross dissolve so go like this cross dissolve transition or if you want to do something you know like a zoom in you can drag that between the two and just have it zoom in super cool super easy to use and that's basically that now from there all you would do is you you know if you want to get into the advanced side of things you can watch my tutorial on it but i've showed before how to do build-ups you could add those you could add screen pumps transitions color grading all that stuff but for another time i'm going to be making an updated advanced tutorial soon as well as a color grading tutorial so let me know which one you guys want to see first sometime later in the upcoming week kind of like thursday friday kind of thing which just for reference is going to be february 29th or march 1st so keep an eye out for that but yeah if you guys enjoy like comment subscribe go check out my editing pack like i mentioned before and yeah hope you guys enjoy i'll see you guys later peace out